Godot doesn't stop growing and growing, but will it be able to finally defeat Unity? Today we will take a look at the most recent events such as the GMTK Game Jam, Unity 6, etc. to answer this question. Firstly, we are going to be discussing the GMTK Game Jam. As you may probably already know, this is one of the biggest uh, game development game jam that has been held on um, since uh, 2017. And well, thanks to this game jam, we have a lot of numbers that we are going to be able to analyze. So, uh, first of all, in 2020, we had over 63% of games made with Unity and only, and only 12 uh, with Go Godot. But then in 2021, um, the numbers were quite similar, as you can see. 2022, Godot was uh, still increasing a little bit because it passed uh, from 13 to 16. So 3% more, which is uh, quite a lot for just uh, one year. But well, uh, as usual, uh, Unity was uh, having the, the most amount, the most number of developers. And then in 2023, when uh, th there was the Unity runtime fee drama, well, um, actually another 3% more developers started using uh, Godot. And as you can see, uh, even the, the number of uh, Unity developers uh, also decreased, okay, exactly two points, okay? So this could be that uh, some Unity developers actually migrated uh, to Godot, okay? <clears throat> and then uh, in 2024, that the game jam has finished like one, two months ago, like not, not too much time ago, uh, here something massive happened. And the fact is that uh, Godot had 37% of the games and Unity 43%. Um, so as you can see, nearly the double number of developers uh, of Godot we have from one year to the other, from 19 to 37. So it is indeed amazing the, the growing that Godot has had. And also how much, let's say, it has stolen from Unity, because Unity had 59 and now only 43. And also the number of other engines, we can see... Uh, 5% Game Maker, 5% Unreal, and 10% others. As you can see, it was still quite the same, okay? Uh, so, basically, all these users uh, that you had over here, this portion over here, directly migrated to Godot, okay? So, Godot stolen um, developers from Unity to Godot, okay? So, indeed, it is amazing. And then we're going to see what happens in the next uh, Game Jam 2025. But, well, then talking about Unity, you may already know that, that Unity 6 is quite close uh, to, to be released, okay? And this, of course, uh, brings up a lot of benefits. And also, they have completely cancelled uh, their runtime fee. As it is literally stated everywhere in the Unity site that they are no longer having this fee. Um... So basically, Unity Personal will uh, remain completely free, out of cost, and they are doubling the amount of money that you have to make in order to have to pay for a license. And in Unity 6, you are going to be able to remove the Made with Unity Splash screen, at no cost, of course. So basically, what I did is basically increase the subscription price. But well, the thing is that uh, for you to have to pay for this license, you, you actually had to start making a lot uh, of money. Uh, this was previously um, this amount, and well, now it is double, so it is much more. And for the enterprise, uh, it has been a 25% subscription price increase. But well, once again, look at the amount of money that you have to make in order to pay for this license, you or, or the company itself. So indeed, we would be able to say that at least right now, Unity is doing things as uh, it should. Basically, cancelling the runtime fee and also having Unity 6 uh, around the corner. And also, just uh, some weeks ago, we had the, the event of actually the uni Unit uh, 2024. And well, in October 17, super close to us, we are going to be having the, the most stable and performant version of Unity. Basically, Unity 6. In the last time also, Godot has been through uh, some drama. 
For some people, this means literally nothing because it's a drama that in, in mo mostly it just happened in on Twitter and that was all. But for other people, it did mean a lot. So in short, the community manager of, Go of Godot posted this. And well, a lot of people uh, were reacting with uh, comments saying that uh, politics shouldn't be uh, mixed up uh, with game development and they, that they should uh, instead focus more on fixing some bugs on the engine and adding more stuff instead of posting these kinds of things. And well, uh, any person that would post something related to that, criticizing the engine, criticizing the post, uh, or whatever, they would be instantly banned or blocked, um, and even from GitHub, so they wouldn't be able to actually contribute to the project anymore. And not only that, but also, of course, Godot had to actually uh, send a new post, let's say that clarifying things, but well, people were, were actually expecting to have some kind of apology from Godot, but well, the message here was uh, quite the opposite. Basically, they say that this tweet had unexpectedly led to a wave a wave of harassment directed at our staff and community. So basically, they were victimizing itself uh, from what uh, has been happening. They didn't apologize. They didn't uh, say that uh, blocking so many people uh, has been uh, wrong or whatever. So yes, indeed, the community was completely on fire. Once again, some people feel feel that this is literally nothing because the development itself of, of Godot uh, is not going to like be damage, damaged a lot. But once again, for others, this really means a lot because they really trusted Godot, they really love the engine, and for them, mixing politics with game development is some, something unacceptable. So yes, Godot indeed was on its peak, as you saw in the GMTK game jump as well. Shortly after that, they committed this. Um, well, at the moment that I'm recording this video, this is all the information that we have. We even have a fork of the Godot engine called uh, Redot. But well, uh, right now, that's all the information that we have about this. And we will see how everything ends up being. As a result, will Godot finally defeat Unity? If you ask, asked me this question like one month ago, maybe I would tell you that maybe in four or five years the new industry standard would definitely be Godot. But well, Unity cancelling the runtime fee, Unity 6 quite close to us that seems quite promising. And now Godot having this drama and less people actually trusting Godot and open source nature and whatever. I don't really know. Because it is such a complicated question to answer in such a complicated moment that coming to a conclusion is mostly impossible. And of course, always the future is uncertain. As you have seen, Godot, eh, like two, two days ago, was on its peak. Everybody was super happy about that. And now there is a new drama about it. So a new drama can either happen with Godot, Unity, and change everything from, the, from night to day. So as usual, the market is super unstable and uncertain. So there is nothing left than continue learning what you like the most and what you feel the most comfortable with. My suggestion is not to feel overwhelmed about this, about which is the best tool to be using or whatever, because both are amazing and both have their pros and cons. So just focus on the one that you feel the most comfortable with and the one that is the best one for your project. And from there, just over the years, the market will determine which becomes the new industry standard if there is a new one. And of course, if that happens, you're going to be able to adapt. Anyway, I would love to read your opinion in the comments down below and consider subscribing to the channel if you liked this video. See you in the next one and bye bye.